subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. And welcome to unquestionably, undoubtedly, your reigning source for WWE news, rumors, headlines, speculation, gossip, hearsay. We bring it all up to you. Why? Because I wouldn't have it any other way. Remember to become a channel member today to help secure what... Sean, I become a channel member. What happens? Well, what happens is you get all my time, you get all my effort, you get all my emotion, blood, sweat, tears. You get all my passion, you get all my entertainment. Believe me, you, you become a channel member. You also help keep me on YouTube.com. Yes, you help keep me. You help reinforce the idea of Sean's View staying on this website, staying relevant, and staying up to date with each and every one of you. Because it will never be, it will never be, screw you, oh no, no, no. It will be screw the haters, the naysayers, the skeptics, the doubters, and the ones that have been trying to nail me down for the better part of a decade but I have always come above and beyond when I needed to. Why? Because my viewers and my subscribers have brought me to the dance. 148,000 of you. Yes. Now, let's get into the great news that we are hearing, seeing. Well, some of it's great, some of it's sad, some of it's bad. Ladies and gentlemen, the results are absolutely being leaked for a massive title match, for a massive championship. Ladies and gentlemen, Corbin will now face Andrade for the WWE Speed Championship. And you can watch Ilya Drago versus Carmelo below. Today's WWE Speed matches before, uh, between Raw wrestler Ilya Dragunov and SmackDown wrestler Carmelo Hayes ended in a three-minute time limit draw. A draw on WWE Speed for that very title for that very championship. Ladies and gentlemen, you may remember the historic day for all of you. It was on this day in 2011. CM Punk won the WWE Championship for the first time ever at Money in the Bank, where CM Punk said, hey, I'll walk out with the WWE title. I will leave the WWE with the WWE title. And as Vince McMahon said, it was a dark day, but it was one of the most profound, one of the most famous, one of the most, most popular days in WWE history. Also, we got breaking news on massive cancellation. Yes, a massive cancellation. According to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, WWE canceled massive plans for Omos versus Kane at the Royal Rumble. Kane's last match was the 2021 Men's Royal Rumble, and after that, appearances were very well not up to date, not up to speed, not up to snuff. What if you would want to see an Omos versus Kane? Speaking about Omos, where has Omos been? Have you missed him? Did you think Omar should have beat Brock Lesnar a couple years beat Brock Lesnar a couple years ago at WrestleMania? Also, we got breaking news on Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw's viewership saw 1.67 million viewers with a 0.56 rating in the 18 to 49 demographic, which is down from last week's 1.75 million viewers with a 0.59 rating. See what happens when you don't have CM Punk on the show. See what happens when CM Punk isn't there. See what happens when you take CM Punk out of the predicament. The ratings will suffer. The ratings will go lower. Although it wasn't a hell of a lot lower, but it is still lower. Also, and what some might say is a shocking debacle, QT Marshall actually defends Cody Rhodes after recent comments made about AEW, which is, well... Shifting the internet. It's uh, sweeping the globe. It is sweeping the nation as we speak right now. Those comments. Has Stone Cold Steve Austin disappeared? What is going on with the Texas Rattlesnake? Stone Cold Steve Austin. One of the, if not the greatest of all time. Steve Austin has just disappeared. I haven't talked to him in a year. According to Rick Flair, what is going on with Stone Cold Steve Austin? Also, the number one contender for the world title, Gunther, reveals why he doesn't care about stipulation matches. I feel like a lot of those matches turn into stunt shows at a certain point where it's more about the carnage than the action. Are you guys, do you guys like uh, stipulation matches? Or are you like Gunther? You don't like stipulation. You just like classic one-on-one, -on -one, who's the better man? Cody Rhodes sent The Undertaker an intoxicated rant after WrestleMania 40. Is Cody Rhodes in trouble for being intoxicated following WrestleMania and his win as the, the brand new, undisputed WWE Champion? Also, Cody Rhodes hates what the Young Bucks wrote about him in their book in regards to the birth 
of AEW. Also, Michael Cole hasn't peed during a show in 20 years. But Pat McAfee did just last Monday night on Raw. And usually that is looked at as, well, bad. And it's looked at as unprofessional. And it's looked at as, it's just not a good look if you're a commentator and you sat down for two, three, four hours and you have to take a pee, you have to take a piss. Sometimes you got to pee yourself. Sometimes you have to bring a diaper. Sometimes you have to bring reinforcements. And uh, again, the world learned that uh, Pat McAfee did run to the bathroom during Raw, which is looked at as a no. Two more new, new champions expected to be crowned at SummerSlam 2024. Yes, guys, breaking news as reported earlier. LA Knight is the heavy betting favorite to defeat Logan Paul to become the brand new United States champion at SummerSlam 2024. And Gunther is favorite to defeat Damian Priest to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. And Nia Jax is the favorite to walk out of SummerSlam as the new WWE Women's Champion. So if this stands, if this rumor and speculation stands, if this booking stands, it looks like we're going to have not one, not two, but three new champions coming out of SummerSlam. I hope that's not the case. What do you guys think? Guys, also going back in in history, it was on this day in 1994, the first ever pay-per-view match between Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair took place at the WCW's Bash at the Beach. It was about three, four years too late, though, at that point. It was about three or four years too late already at that point. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge star says he won't retire this year, but retirement is looming. No, it's not AJ Styles. No, it's not John Cena because we already know about that. We already heard about that. We already see the writing on that. But no, ladies and gentlemen, he's a former Intercontinental Champion. He's a former Hardcore Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, in the Rhodes family, Dustin Rhodes says he won't retire this year. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Damian Priest, Cody Rhodes, and Bailey have completed 100 days as champion. El Champion, yes. Damian Priest and Cody Rhodes and Bailey. But are those the same three athletes that are going to lose their titles in a predicament at the hottest event of the year, SummerSlam? Also, ladies and gentlemen, coming through the desk of the Brash of Brazen, it has now been 100 days since we have seen Roman Reigns on WWE programming in what is probably the longest sabbatical, the biggest break that Roman Reigns has ever had. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are hearing about these deadly diseases. We heard President Biden has come down with COVID-19. Yes, breaking news. The President of the United States. I mean, it has been a bad week for presidents. First, Donald Trump almost gets shot to death, almost gets assassinated. And in the same week, President Joe Biden has come down with COVID-19. And we all know Roman Reigns, you know, deadly diseases. You talk about cancer. You talk about fighting the covid uh, Roman Reigns, you know, deadly diseases have run rampant through sports. There's no doubt about that. And the WWE is no stranger to their athletes and their wrestlers getting sick as well, which is a very sad state of because at no time do you want anyone to have a deadly disease or any cancer or any bug or any COVID or any pneumonia or anything like that. Nothing deadly. We don't want anything like that happening. But we have seen deadly occurrences in the world of professional wrestling. But here on Show and View, we are not going to be deadly. We are going to give you... The fix, because the fix is in to give you all WWE, all rumors, all the headlines, all the debates. Why? Because if it weren't for you, there would be no show of you. We come through when the lights are on bright. Stay tuned to this channel for hourly WWE. Why? Because it's true.